audio days? Yeah. Okay, well, I came to audio, uh, partially because I thought it was a fun thing to do, but, you know, and it's in Paris, and when else do you get a chance to actually go to Paris? It's a, you know, it's a, it's a really, it's a wonderful city. And, and yeah, I do have, actually do have new hardware at the moment, and actually there's an upgrade on the Avocet DDA since January 1 that we've been shipping since January 1 and we'll have uh, converter, you know, upgrades for existing units sometime this summer where the, the new D to A, which is an even lower jitter, more transparent, more open, better transients, also now has optical input in it. And you can select whether it's optical, SPDIF, or AES from the front panel, you know, on the remote as opposed to, you know, the old way with the switch that was inside of it. And the new compressor is a 500 series vacuum tube, one slot wide compressor that does a very serious vintage kind of sound. You know, LA-2A is only more colored and more flexible, uh, three attack and release position so it can be faster or slower. Uh, uses a 12AX7 tube and it's 110 milliamps in one slot so there won't be power supply issues with it also. What do you think of the organization? I'm just going to move the light a little okay. bit more. Okay. Uh, so what do you think of the organization? Yeah, I, I think it's actually gotten good and it's gotten better every year since I've come to this thing because the first time we were in this like World War II bunker thing where if you didn't duck your head in the right place it was uh, hard on the head shall we say because uh, it was like one meter thick concrete walls and you know we're now in a, actually a really nice studio with better acoustics and yeah, I, you know, it's gotten better every year, and I actually hope it continues to get better with time, because I think it's a real good thing to provide an opportunity to educate people. And, and if people, you know, one of the things I did today was play jitter examples, and I have them set up so they can phase cancel, and it, and it doesn't do what you would expect, and people go away, you know, le learning things and learning to understand what they're hearing, and... and learning to solve the problems in their recording system if they can recognize what it was. Because, you know, back in the analog days, you know, you turn up the speakers, yeah, that's a ground loop, I know what that kind of thing is. But we don't have that kind of opportunity in the digital world, so we have to lear learn, okay, if it makes that kind of sound, well, it's this kind of thing. Or if it makes that kind of sound, it might be this kind of thing. Or if it sounds fine when you're recording, but playback isn't sounds different in the image collapse as well you know it's a clocking thing related to jitter on the a to d or d to a or when you're in record mode they're in sync so the jitter cancels and you don't hear it and when you're in playback mode well they're not in sync anymore and then then you hear artifacts that weren't there originally